Hello everyone and welcome to Crafts by the Bow. Last weekend I went to Red Deer for Stamping Up on stage and it was my very first one and I had a blast. It was a wonderful day. I can't wait to go to another one. At our tables we each had um, a piece of this paper. It was meant to be for stamping on but I thought it was just too pretty to stamp on. And we got a little notebook with calendar days in and pages to write on, especially for their birthday. And each table had a different colour. Ours, as you can see, was oranges. Um, some were purples, lime greens. It looked so pretty when we went in. And a couple of people have asked me if I would show my swaps that I got on on stage. So here goes. This is the swap that I made. It was using the Artistically Asian stamp set, which is just such a pretty stamp set. I, I love this bamboo and this, I don't really know what the plant is, but it's just so pretty when you stamp with it. So I decided to use my Artistically Asian and use the bamboo piece and this little sentiment here that says friendship multiplies joy and divides sorrows. So I used a piece of watercolour paper, cut it down to a little square just here and then I decided to mask and sponge a background. So I had a little post-it note and I cut it out, used the sticky part to stick onto here and sponged round with soft sky and pool party. And then I used some more post-it notes just to make these shapes and I moved them round a bit until I thought they looked like mountains. And I sponged using um, Elegant Eggplant and a little bit of Perfect Plum and Wisteria Wonder. And just a tiny bit of yellow for the moon shining here. And then using my Tranquil Tide, I stamped the bamboo and the sentiment and then took it to my big shot and cut this square out with my stitched square shapes. And I'm not sure that you can actually see, but I put it on dimensionals just to raise that middle piece up a little bit and uh, added a few rhinestones and that was my swap. And I didn't have an awful lot of time to swap because I was demonstrating. And, uh, but the swaps I got were just beautiful. So, here was my first swap and this was from a lady, I'm sorry I can't remember your name, but as I came out of my hotel room, she was just leaving her hotel room and going down to the convention. So we went down together and she made these amazing little bookmarks oh, and she's told me everything that she's used, the Berry Burst, Daffodil Delight, an amazing new stamp set, but it didn't have her name on. I have been using the bookmark just to put inside my catalogue so I know which page I'm pouring over next. So thank you for that. And then here are a few more. This one is from Faye Molesbury in, in Saskatchewan. And I loved how this had depth and dimension even though there are no extra layers or anything. Um, she just stamped off with her stamps to make different colours and put this very pretty little plant on the side. I thought that was a really nice one. And then here's another one that didn't have a name but she's used the Daisy Stamps and Punch and the DSP for the daisies. Isn't that pretty? And wouldn't it make a nice easy make and take at a class or something? Very nice. And then this one is from Diana Quinlan and she's used the flourishing phrases and the flourish thinlets. To, so she's cut this out with the thinlets and I love how that curve goes across the card. And then she's embossed with silver embossing powder her sentiment. Thank you so very much. Very nice. And then this one was from Pam McLean. And she was sitting at my table. Well, my table. It wasn't really my table. It was their table. And I had nobody to go to on stage with. And uh, there was a table at the front. And I thought, mm, 
do I want to sit at the front? I'm not used to sitting at the front. But I went up and I asked if there was a space at the table and they said, oh yeah, come, come. So I went and sat with them and they were just a hoot. They were from Edmonton and Calgary and they knew it was my first on stage. So they were showing me what to do and telling me the housekeeping rules and uh, what I needed to do next. But I hadn't told them that I was demonstrating on stage. So when I got up and went to demonstrate, they were like, oh, no, you can't go yet. No, no, don't go anywhere yet. It's uh, this other lady is still talking. You, you know, just wait a bit. But anyway, I went and I got mic'd up and uh, then went to sit to wait for my turn to go on, on stage and demonstrate. And I had just such a wonderful time. I was really nervous, uh, but I needn't have been. It was all like-minded stampers and there were only 350 in the room. <laughs> but going back to Pam's card, I liked how she's offset the top layer and this layer too. And I'm not usually very good at that. My OCD takes over and thinks, oh no, it's not straight, move it round here. But actually, I really like that. So I'm going to try and do some offset cards. So watch this space. But that was really nice, Pam, thank you. And then my next swap was from Tanya. And uh, she'd stamped on the Shrinky Dink plastic and she'd loved I love stamping up and then another one with the logo from the website and uh, just made a beautiful little key ring. So thank you Tanya, I'm going to put that on my key ring for school. Then my next swap uh, uses the Hold On To Hope set and uh, I think that's just simple clean lines, really pretty, thank you. Who made that for me? Oh Jan Lee. Thank you, Jan Lee. Very pretty. And then my next one was this sweet little, I think it's sweet little something stamp set with the, the little bunny where you stamp three times each one in a, a different shade so that it really pops off the page and looks 3D. And then she's used the um, embossing folder, the ruffled one. Oh, that, that's nice on there. And then a few little pieces of paper from the um, Tranquil Tide Gentleman DSP set. And just the little little tiny corduroy ribbon there. Oh, that's very nice. I don't think I have a name for it though. No, nope. oh, a sweet little something for your sweet little someone. <laughs> And then this next one is from Carrie Girard in Edmonton. And uh, she used this little wine set that came out, I think just before Christmas. Um, one of the million dollar stampers had designed the set. I haven't got that yet, but I, I do like that. The best wines are ones we drink with friends. How true. Well, thank you for that, Carrie. And then here's another one that didn't have a name on either. Um, it's such a fresh, clean looking card. It would be you know, great for birthdays, Easter, just as a spring or a get well card. Very pretty colours, but no name. So if you see something that I'm showing and it, it is yours, just drop me a line so I can give you credit for what you've made. Um, this little happy birthday one with the glimmer paper. And who's this one from? Stella Pym. So, uh, I've been using this happy birthday sentiment on the framelets quite a lot lately. And what I've been doing, because it's difficult to glue this on without getting squidges of glue coming out, I've been using it on the self-adhesive sheets that we have, the multi-purpose adhesive sheets, where you peel one side off and put your card onto the sticky side, run it through the big shot and then you can treat it like a sticker because it's sticky on the back. So that's really pretty. Very nice. And then I was lucky enough to get two cards from the same lady. These are both from Kathy Lang. And the first one, uh, I think the 
this is the picture perfect paper I don't have this set either uh, but I know it's been very very popular I love how she's put the little binder clip here uh, it gives it a little bit more dimension and put this this little piece up on dimensionals so very pretty Kathy and I loved the colors that she chose and then her other one that she gave me was using the petal palette suite um, I do have some of this set I, I have this embossing folder which is so nice I've been using it when I've had sort of portrait cards and just using it down the side here and uh, but I, I really like it on the horizontal too so very pretty so thank you Kathy for both of my cards and my next card this was from Tammy Cooper and she gave me all the instructions. So that's fantastic. I know I can make this at card class and I don't even have to work anything out myself. I can just look through and think, oh yeah, this is how big my base card needs to be. This is what I need for my background. And I think she's either inked up the embossing folder, the woodland embossing folder here, or she's embossed and then sponged on top with the white. But that's nice it gives lots of depth to the trees and then she's used that little petal palette embossing folder that Kathy had used here and you see she's made her leaves out of that so they have a little bit of texture too and I love foxy friends and what's not to love about him right. thank you Tammy and then this was also from somebody at my table and uh, this lady, her name was Karen Duke, and she's the first stamper in Canada to reach a million dollars in sales. And she was just a hoot. She was explaining to me, you know, what you need to do. This would be good for card stamping, uh, for a class. Um, and you would, she was so down to earth and so nice. So congratulations, Karen, on being a million dollar stamper. At the moment, she's just designing her stamps ready for stamping up to put in their um, catalogues. But she said it's like a two year process. So she looking at her stamps now, trying to think of her theme and she sent off some ideas and then she'll be flown out to Salt Lake City to have a look at the ideas board and choose what she wants from there. So many congratulations, Karen. Very nice card. And then this was one of my favourite little cards. And I must admit, when I got this one, I had to open it straight away at the table. Because I, it's just gorgeous. And let me see. It's from Alana. And uh, she'd used the brick embossing folder. And that's one that I think we're losing for the new catalogue. But it was just perfect for this little tower. And... Uh, She'd put one of the little mermaids behind, but you can't tell she's a mermaid. She just looks like a princess there. A little door with the hinges. And then on the next side, look, the little knight in shining armour come to rescue her. But then turn it round. There's the dragon. Not looking very happy with himself, I must say. But uh, what a cute little card. And it folds flat to go in just a normal envelope. I think that's a gorgeous little birthday card. So thank you, Alana. Nice idea. And then my next swap was from Miran. And Miran, I think, was from Vancouver or Victoria Island. But I know she was flying back out to Vancouver. And uh, she... There we go. You can see her blog for you as well. And uh, she made this beautiful masculine card. And I think all of us find masculine cards a bit more difficult. I never quite know what to put on them. But she, on her base card look, she used that woodland folder. The same one that little Foxy was on. But she's only used part of it. She hasn't embossed the whole card. And then she's also embossed this dark layer. I'm not sure if you can see it, if the camera picks it up. But it's got the, the um, wooden plank embossing folder on just to give a bit more dimension and then the waterfront set and I, I thought that was just stunning so thank you very much Miran. 
I like that and uh, I think I'll be casing that. Now, Miran was sitting at the table next to me and after I'd done my onstage presentation, she came over and said, you know, oh, well done, well done. And she brought me another swap. And I think she'd made these just for the ladies on her table. But uh, I was lucky enough that she had one left. And she's you know, made three little pictures. And then when you pop this up, it's a little desk easel. So, so I've got this on my desk right now. Thank you, Miran. I love that. Do something creative every day. So, and the sentiment at the back, look. Crafting forever, housework whenever. <laughs> so thank you, Mira. And I was uh, I was really pleased to receive that. Thank you. And then my only other gift. It wasn't really a swap. It was from Donna Griffith, um, who'd come from the Home Office, and she sent. Let me just find the card then. She gave me a card, and all of the on-stage demonstrators were given a thank you card and um, she'd signed it and so had all the backstage team as well and, and Dale, Canada Dale and uh, I thought that was really nice, a nice little idea and then she gave me this little set and uh, this is the Coastal Cabana colour and I think that must have just been going out of the catalogues as I joined a couple of years ago because I never I never bought this and I'd never seen it before but nice colour and this is a from one of the new stamp sets in the new catalogue and then inside she put three little thank you notes for me to use with the envelopes and I loved how she'd done this she it was one of our cello bags and she just cut a piece of the new DSP the exact size as the bag, popped it in and uh, then put the little thank you cards in and what a nice little gift. I thought how nice it would be maybe as a hostess gift or um, just as a little thank you, like a teacher gift or oh they don't want to go back in, nope in you go, there you are, little, little gift um, you know, for the hairdresser, for just somebody that you want to say thank you. You know, I really appreciated that thing you did. Uh, very pretty. Very nice. And I do like that Coastal Cabana colour. I will be buying that. So, so that was all of my swaps. I will show my cards that I made for the on-stage presentation in another video. But... But uh, that's all I have to show you right now. So thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you all soon. Bye.